So welcome everybody to yes another case study from one of our awesome clients, Mr. William Edmides. Welcome, William. Thank you. Is it William or Will or is it just William's okay? Oh, William either or, yeah. Nice one, nice one. So tell me about yourself. I'm just meeting you for the first time right now, so just just uh, introduce yourself to everybody. Um, hey, um, I'm William. I live in New Zealand, about 21 years old. I study IT at university. Um, uh, doing a bachelor at cybersecurity, so that's always quite interesting. Cyber security. Yeah, yeah. So just doing that, pretty intense, and yeah. learning um, Mandarin yeah. spare time, obviously. So I just uh, immediately know that you're much smarter than me then. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's uh, that's like uh, some pretty intense stuff. That's uh, what? Why so? What, what what got you interested in that in the first place? Oh, I just um, like the idea of how sort of security things work and sort of like manipulating stuff, thinking differently, you know, to access different like websites and stuff like that. And just, I mean, just something about it just, and the thought process behind it as well. Like you have to think creatively as well as use um, previously learned uh, methods as well. So I was, pretty- it's so funny. I was just chatting to um, Julian Laffey uh, yesterday. He's one of our, another one of our uh, very successful guys on the course. And he, he's also a programmer. And oh, cool. I've, we've had several people that have done really well, not necessarily programmers, but people like Sydney is another one. Sydney Green is another mm. another guy who is not necessarily not a programmer, but he's very academic and he likes puzzles. He likes cracking codes. Yeah, that's kind of the, I guess that seems to be, I know nothing about your area, but that seems to be one of the, the key sort of personality traits that you guys seem to have is that you like figuring, the like cracking codes yeah. and, and getting over uh like things that you can't other people can't you know getting through things so that's that's very just it's just interesting i'm, I'm noticing that more and more like, but yeah i'm a programmer i, I do uh i do code and all this yeah. stuff. there's one commonality i'm noticing so you, you you're into coding and um cyber security so why chinese what what got you into that um first of all i completely forgot the reason i get asked this a lot but i'm pretty <laughs> sure it was something along the reason of um like i just wanted to learn um like something like the hardest language in the world just just because or for english speakers anyway and yeah yeah i just thought why not and um i started on like duolingo and like memorize and stuff like that and then i figured i wasn't making enough progress and then i came across you guys and i started gave your course a shot and just completely just took off crazy Brilliant. I mean, well, so first of all, let's go back a little bit. How did you discover us? Yeah. Oh, I discovered you guys on Reddit, actually, through, like, chance, like, post. Um, like, you, I saw a post, um, you know, saying about the Mandarin, Mandarin Blueprint method, and I thought, I gave a quick read. I'm like, oh, yeah. And because you guys mentioned something about the uh, memorization techniques of, like, memory champions, I'm like, yep, that's that sounds valid. So, and you gave like, um, like legitimate reasons and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, these guys have done the research and I just gave it a shot and wasn't disappointed. Right. So talk to me more about, <clears throat> so you know how you find us. That's, that's great. So this, the Reddit, the Reddit thing uh, worked out. Uh, quite yeah. Well. I managed to get a couple of people from that. That's brilliant. Um, but what was it that was, what were you struggling with? What caused you to sort of uh, be open to trying new things? Like, you know, you said you were doing, Duolingo and um, Memrise, like, what's yeah. the problem with those? Why did you want to try something else? Well, as far as learning characters went, I was sort of alright with learning characters by themselves, but I always forgot the tones. Like, a, um, and I sort of um, wasn't really didn't realize how important tones were. Like, I thought, okay, as long as I know the pronunciation, it should be fine. But no, that's not. <laughs> it's not true. Um, but yeah, and then I sort of. Um, I remember Phil saying in, in one of his videos um, that you can memorize a character, but if you forget it, then you have to start all over again. And I thought, yeah, that's completely true. But with, um, and that's a problem I sort of had. But with um, the method that you guys do, if you forget like a little piece of it, it's just like a brick falls off a house sort of thing. You just put it back in and it's fine. Absolutely. Whereas, yeah, the whole house yeah. doesn't fall, fall down. Yeah, that's, exactly right. Yeah. That's it. We keep coming. Like, another thing we keep getting from these uh, interviews, uh, along with all this other value, like just from talking to you, is some amazing analogies. I've got to say, like we get some really, um, yeah. It's it's. So I'm going to use that one if you don't mind. Yeah. So like, oh, it's like 
like a brick falling off rather than the whole house crumbling down. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's great. So, um, so it's just sort of a, you don't even really remember why you want to learn Chinese. You just fancy the challenge. I like that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, what oh, about, and also the oh, drum job. Oh, sorry. Uh, also the job opportunities and just um, communicating with different people and stuff like that as well. That's also another reason. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. And what about the general, like the Chinese culture? Like, do you, uh, do you actually, I mean, I'm, everyone's kind of got a small interest in it, right? But like, do you have a, a, a desire to sort of go to China and, and maybe live here at some point or is it just maybe gone? Yeah, yeah. Definitely on the cards. Um, I've been sort of looking, um, dabbling with sort of like Chinese history and stuff like that, like the Three Kingdoms, like there are especially the romance of the Three Kingdoms and stuff like that. Um, you know, just sort of light history, not too, not too in depth, but I've just been sort of interested in stuff like that as well. Mm. There's, there's like I, I'm, uh, I've got a couple of friends, very close friends, and a little brother that live in um, Australia. I, I know it's easy to get from China to Australia. I know there's a huge Chinese population in Australia. Is that also yeah, true yeah. in New Zealand? Mm. It's, uh, there's some, yeah, it's getting more and more. Um, yeah, it's definitely a lot more noticeable, especially in the up north. Mm. So that's quite cool. Right. So, I mean, Say you did start to smash Chinese, like go to the next level with it. You know, you wouldn't have to necessarily travel to get see those opportunities. Those work. That's true. Yeah. And you, know, you could uh, all sorts of make all sorts of connections in your home country as well. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of um, stores, and especially in my area, a lot of Chinese stores with like Chinese writing for the titles and stuff like that. So I yeah. just enjoy sort of walking past there and see if I can sort of pick apart, you know, what it says. Well, I, like that. I, my, I annoy the hell out of my uh, fiance a lot because I just uh, I have this habit. Where I'll I'll read out loud pretty much every sign I see, <laughs> and I live in China, so you can imagine that. <laughs> I know it's myself. I'm like, so I have to stop myself in my tracks, otherwise I sound like a crazy person, you know. But uh, it's a real habit for me, and uh, it's because it's just so satisfying. It's so fun to do. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. So you you kind of already got into this, but what would uh, just we like to ask these sorts of these sorts of. Uh, mm these sort of structured questions right we can go off base at any time right but um uh what what was it that uh, what would it mean to you let's say what would it mean to you if you could learn chinese how would that how would you feel like if you could get to the point where you could speak fluently and you could read whatever you pretty much whatever you want i mean i can't read whatever i can't read really <laughs> whatever I wouldn't want to in english but uh, you know what i mean like you read what the content that you want absorb the content yeah. that you want communicate with who you want in the way you want like what would that mean to you and what would you do with that skill? That would be like completely incredible. Just, um, I would firstly or surprise my Chinese customers. I'll just say, you know, like greet them and they'll go, you know, really, really surprised. Like they, um, I, with my like limited knowledge of Chinese characters, um, how much more would it be with, you know, a complete a knowledge of the language? Um, so first of all, that'll be my first thing. And just, like to read on Chinese texts and like newspapers and stuff like that. Um, actually more so the newspapers because um, just to get a different sort of um, perspective on, I guess, say culture and life in general, I guess. So that'd be really cool. Yeah. So and, and another thing we keep saying and we keep finding is people like that, uh, like everyone, has, all sorts of people have all sorts of different goals and reasons for learning Chinese and where they want to end up and stuff like that. But the people we find that the people that tend to be most successful are the ones that start 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 out with that idea of I just want to access this this stuff. I just want to access it and enjoy it. I don't have any, you know, I, yeah, like you said, our you know, job prospects are one thing, but I can tell that it's more like a just a general interest that is that is sort of motivating you. And we found that well, first of all, most people end up there anyway, no matter how they start. They end up following it and pursuing it for interest because. Like I was saying with Julian yesterday, you have to be interested to make it. Definitely, to the yeah. Level, but uh, yeah, people end up um, people end up with your sorts of motivations. You do really well, and that's, I mean, that's already showing, isn't it? Because yeah. where are you at the moment in the method? So we have just to, for those who, who don't know that are listening, we have currently we have thirty six levels. Um, we cover six hundred of the most common characters, about a thousand or so words, and tons of reading material based around those words and stuff so of the 36 levels where are you at the moment i uh, just started 15 today so 15 well done that's so, a, that's yeah, yeah fantastic and so that's like what how many characters we're looking like maybe 150 characters 150. yeah close to 144 i think 45 
Right. So, are you, have you started reading yet? Have you started trying, delving into that stuff yet? Um, been planning to. Um, I've sort of. I'm fairly confident that I could pick up at least like children's books. Um, so at least do that. So. What about the actual the the, the content that we supply, like the, you know the sentences, the paragraphs? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I can. Yeah, definitely read that. Yeah. Oh right. Okay. So that's yeah. what that's what I meant. I didn't. We didn't expect. Yeah. That. Yeah. Of oh, course. Yeah. Books exactly. yet. Like not. You know, um, but uh, how's I'm, I'm always interested to know interested to know how that's going um, for how that goes for people. So you know that transition from learning individual characters, which you're doing really well yeah. at, and you've uh, would you say you've got the hang of that now? That whole character yeah, yeah, learning yeah. process. Yeah. Um, so what is it like going from that to reading sentences? First of all, how's your comprehension? How how you finding it to be? And what's the feeling of that when you do comprehend stuff? When you, um, so first of all, I'm finding it's quite sort of um, a lot easier than I first started out, which sort of makes sense because it gets easier and easier as you do it. Mm. Um, but sorry, what was the second question you asked me? Just uh, so you're finding it. Let me see here. I've got, I've got now. I'm getting too excited, so I'm asking like three, yeah. one, <laughs> one. So, uh, so how are you finding your comprehension uh, overall? First of yep. all. And you know, where are you basically? Are you are you are you reading sentences? Are you reading paragraphs? Uh, what can you do at the moment? So at the moment, I'm reading sentences um, supplied from the characters that I've learned, and sort of just figuring out how they sort of um, go in the sentences and the places they um, appear in and stuff like that. How different it is from English. Most of the time, it's fairly similar to English, but they do occur some, you know, some strange. Um, patterns and stuff like that but. Oh, absolutely yeah you've, you'll discover that as you delve into it more but it's not that tough in terms of grammar. Oh, definitely not yeah as you're used to it you'll it find it easier definitely yeah yeah um, well i mean there's another thing that julian was talking about yesterday was just um how much of a feeling it is going from not being able to recognize even individual characters to going to comprehending the context of an entire sentence yeah, yeah. paragraph you know such a cool feeling I, 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 I miss that <laughs> well I still get it you know I still get it but uh, it's, it's, it's great that transition that, that what we call that a breakthrough right yeah so you, you would you say you've had a breakthrough um, yeah you must have had a few by now actually go you're reading you're reading sentences what about the audio how's your listening going um, listening's quite good as well. Um, it needs to be improved on that, um, but I'll get there. Yeah, listening tends to take the longest. You know, mm -hmm. it, it just does. It tends to take the longest of all the four skills, you know, reading, writing, listening, reading, what? <laughs> reading, writing, listening, speaking. It tends yeah. to take the longest, but it's also, as, as, as we always say, it's also the easiest to develop, right? Yeah. To listen, listen, listen. Just and it's, it's the easiest because you, you won't crash your car if you're, you know, if you're listening. That's true, yeah. You're just listening, <laughs> like, idly, yeah. Exactly, yeah. So, but uh, as you develop through the course, you can always, uh, I'll, I'll, we've got tons of more resources that we can recommend to you about, mm. about that, you know, which we'll be happy to get into, but one step at a time. Exactly, um, right, yeah. So, we've got a lot of components to the course, you know, pronunciation, we've got characters, words, um, grammar, sentences, and reading, and yep. reading, all that stuff. But what would you say, of all the aspects of the course that you can think of, what would you say, that if you can think of three, what would you say which three have made the biggest impact on you at the moment? Um, so three would be um, the character components, the characters, definitely the characters, and the, I would say, learning the sentences as well. well. Can you go into that in a little bit more detail? So you separate into character components. Uh, like yeah. Well, go, go into that for me a little bit. So character components meaning like... Um, the shape of the characters, like I might have, uh, like for um, Cameron, uh, Ming, like with the moon and the sun component. Um, so just short, um, forming those two components together and how they fit. Um, and just sort of coming up with different um, mnemonics for them, like 3D representations and stuff like that. Um, and the characters, uh, so characters are quite important because you can sort of learn other words as well uh, with, the, with the sort of context that you've learned. Like, it's not like if you learn an, uh, a word in English, it's sort of, you don't know really how, um, what it means, but with a character in Chinese, you can sort of have a good guess at it because of the yeah. characters that make it up. Yeah, it kind of, they've got their own, I like to say, they've got their own built-in mnemonic devices, haven't they? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. So the you mean when you say that the components side, it's just because again for people that don't really know the, the oh of course yeah, but the component side of it making the biggest impact on you. <clears throat> like you mean that that's the part you enjoy the most, like or one of the parts you enjoy the most is like yeah yeah transforming these foreign squiggles into or the parts of the character into real 3D objects. Definitely, yeah. Because because before then I just um i just formed i just viewed the whole character as just one complete object rather than separating it into different pieces and mm -hmm. that was the big biggest impact one of the biggest impacts for me so. you've been doing um you've been giving us some really good uh, content as well like um oh, we, thanks. we have a few people that comment a lot and uh, you're one of them and we, you, you give us a lot of really cool ideas for um uh props is what we call them right the the 3d objects or animals or whatever it is that represent the components and you're going to see a, a good few um movie scenes as well which i really enjoy um so i mean just we don't have to by include include this if you can't think of anything on top of your head i don't want to put it on the spot yeah. but can you go like pick out a couple of your favorites um like mm -hmm. in terms of a movie scene or a um a, a prop or something i don't usually do this but i just i'm just interested to see if you can uh give us yeah yeah you really like um, there's this one that I sort of remember and it's lie um, with the with the rice component with the razor blade on top. Right. Um, oh yes, yeah, so lies and to come. Right. Yeah, yeah, to come. Yeah, to come. Um, and yeah, a razor blade or whatever it is you choose. Yeah. Um, so I've got it at I've got you actually for my. Oh, I know. Oh, Phil. Phil was uh, someone chose Phil. Was it you that chose Phil as well? Yeah, I chose Phil as well. So yeah. I was, maybe it's just you then. Like, I, I, I was hoping we could be like, you know, well, <laughs> we're in people's <laughs> minds, you know, like playing around with all this stuff. It's fun. All right, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I've just got you at my high school because it's um wider than upper um college. So right. I'm high. Um, and I've got you in the kitchen. Um, sort of, you know trying to get the razor blade on top of the on top of the bowl of rice like it's some sort of um party trick I'm just trying to do that kind of. yeah and of um the camera sort of shoots all the way to the door and your wife's there um or fiance um and she's got a really sort of angry look on her face like um sort of come here sort of look and you're just like no you know just like no just a second and then you throw the razor blade and land on top of the rice and then you go to her so. <laughs> she's like come here now come here yeah i like that very much i was just <laughs> i was still I was filming the podcast yesterday and i was just you know you don't understand you may not even appreciate how much bill and i enjoy reading these sorts of when 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 someone can be bothered to you know write the yeah. and send it to us it sometimes it just makes our day you know like <laughs> uh when i was i was in tears i actually cried laughing yesterday while i was filming the podcast i was <laughs> reading one of Ija's, uh, <laughs> Ija's uh, scenes. They just, um, me and Phil used to, see, like when we, because we used to both originally did this, the original version of the method, we did it together yeah. for the most part. I feel, you know, Phil did like 1500 characters. I did I did the full 3000 from the start with it. And we used to just sit there like that, <laughs> you know, like with our books out, just like with our eyes closed. And every now and then one of us would just be like, <laughs> you know, start <laughs> laughing. Like, what is it, what, 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 what have you got? <laughs> it was great, great times and we're kind of building that sort of online as well which is which is great to see um yeah so yeah and and it's, it's it's also what it's great to see is someone like yourself who just gets it you just get the method uh very quickly and better than us and sometimes as well like uh a few people um that have clearly got more of a knack for it than even phil or i did so uh it's just, it's just awesome it's awesome anyway we're sort of going on about that but uh so you've got the components and the, the uh, of course you, the second thing you said that made the biggest impact on you was the uh the chinese characters themselves yeah right? so can you go into a bit more detail about that yeah yeah so um I'm kind of doing, doing, we? we just oh. did like an example but like, what, what is that is that is that what you meant the making of the movie scene itself yeah yeah just um i guess learning the characters is just made it realize that chinese isn't that hard once you have the right sort of method to learn it mm. learning the characters once you learn them you actually know them and it's a good feeling because you've looked at the squiggly line and now you can interpret it 
and with meaning and i just think that's pretty cool yeah it is that's just my take on it no it can be very yeah. satisfying it can be very satisfying and like it's not because it, it, it's because they're kind of related to your life in quite well you know or what you've experienced even if it's not people that you really know like yes like movie stars or characters or whatever but um you don't just know this character you may be in some ways doing it this way we even learn it better than a chinese person to a certain degree yeah or at least we've developed a closer relationship to the character than, than a chinese person in a lot of ways right mm. yeah which is why we say when you when you do learn a character try and keep it happy and positive you know don't don't don't, don't be too like yeah exactly right so you don't violent or anything like that because <laughs> you know that because they'll, they'll be with you for the rest of your life the journey so yeah that's true yeah <laughs> and uh, the final thing you said was sentences so what is it about the sentences or the higher level yep. reading content what, if you have got into that yet um what, yep. what is it about that that's made a sort of a, a big impact on you um and so in a similar way to learning the characters just the whole comprehension of learning a sentence it's it's just another, just another, I guess another step that's just like, oh my gosh, I can do this. <laughs> this is not like so abstract anymore. And I can, when you understand it, it's, it's even that sort of um, just eureka moment, really. Right, right. So it's that another sort of breakthrough feeling. I'm not just looking. Yeah, at it's just a breakthrough. Yeah. I'm looking at a bunch of squiggles, and it's gonna, it gives you a little shiver up your spine. So yes, yeah. Um, and you know, you haven't got there yet, but you will get there, I'm sure, very soon. Where we'll give you full yes. stories. You know, based on a similar thing is progression, right? And mm. you'll, end, you'll end up, I think at the moment we have nine stories, I believe, nine, either nine or seven, and we're going to keep expanding that. But you, we take away all the English and the opinion. So you're looking at this just big wall of Chinese characters and you can understand 95 or n over 90% of them, you know? So we're going to, we, what we always do with these sorts of uh, I guess case studies or whatever you want to call them, we we always sort of re, hopefully rebook with you in a, in a few months, um, maybe two or three months time. If you're okay with that, we can we can have sort of a follow up meeting. So maybe next time we talk to you, you're reading you're reading whole stories. You know, that'd be cool to get your feedback on that. Yeah, definitely. So the, another level would be great. And then uh, you know, yeah, I'd love to do that. Game of Thrones. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I was just planning to do that. Like the... so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, that's probably about the next sort of breakthrough moment is reading the paragraphs when I get to that stage and the stories and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So what have you, uh, I don't know, okay, again, I'll, we can edit stuff and feel like we're repeating ourselves. I just like to stick to the structure, you know. You know. So uh, what have you achieved so far? Now, that, that, that we know we've heard the number of characters, but I'm not just talking... I guess I think the words extrinsically, I'm talking intrinsically as well. What would you say you've gained from the course or you've achieved on the course, both in data and you know internally in yourself or however it is you want to put it? Like, what do you think you've achieved so far? Sorry, could you repeat? Sorry, yeah, the, the connection. First part again, like the connection just a little, was just a little bit bad. No worries. Yeah. So I was just going to say, said in a very long roundabout way, what have you achieved so far from the course? Um, learning characters permanently, I can firstly say that. Um, and I guess learn, learning how to memorize characters in a really fun way as well. It's quite always quite... Um, I'm always quite like looking forward to like remembering characters because it's always like funny scenes you can just sort of make in your head and stuff like that. So you know, what's the point where you look forward to doing your flashcards now? Yeah. Oh, good, good. Because it starts, sometimes it starts off like, oh man, it's a big number of cards I've got to do. And then it's a bit of a, it's a bit intimidating. But now, but then yep. eventually people get hooked. Uh, like running down. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Can't wait to get rid of that green number, you know. Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple of times where I've had like over a hundred like, um, like flashcards to um, to review, and I'm just like, oh, okay, that's like, yeah, you know, that's like five minutes or something. So I just go, speed through it. Yeah, five to ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Um, okay, so what I'll move on to now is kind of like 
uh, what were you what, before finding out about us? Um, mm. Or like when you found out about us and you, and you read the stuff? Because you told me earlier you read our stuff and you're like straight away you were like, oh, these guys, these guys seem like they're trustworthy, or these guys seem like they know what they're doing, or whatever it is, and you just went for it. Yeah. Was there any skepticism in you at all? Were you thinking like, mm, I don't know if this is true, or I don't know if this is going to work in any way? Oh uh, yeah. Usually when people say, um, you know, that make that kind of claim as you know, learn a character in as little as you know, six months or a year. I'm like learning Chinese characters. I mean, um, will be fluent. I was, you know, always take it with a bit of grain of salt, um, which is why I sort of um, read into you guys and just sort of um, investigate a little bit more. And once I realized that you actually knew your stuff quite well, um, I gave it a go. I started with a pronunciation course, uh, which was, um, I think it was free at the time, I believe. Um, yeah. I started that and I was quite sort of um, engrossed in the content. Brilliant. Fantastic. So not too skeptical of it. So we, 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 are, we do come across as fairly trustworthy. That's good to hear. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and I guess I would say, as a final thing, um, would you recommend us and why would you recommend us? And to who would you recommend us? Yeah, so I've actually recommended you guys to a couple of people, actually. Um, one of them may, you may have already know, um, Andrew. He came into my store. He said he worked with you in China for a while. Um, yeah, um, there's also a couple of... Yeah, he's quite sort of tall, like brown hairish. I'm um, going to need more. I'm going to need more. I know a few Andrews. Yeah. Hang on. I'm sure... It was a while ago, so... He, he signed up online, did he? No, he came into... He came into my store um, and he was, because I heard him speaking Chinese. I was like, oh, that's weird. I was like, um, and then um, it's like, oh, you speak Chinese? And then we sort of had a conversation and then we started talking about the magic and blueprint method. And he's like, oh, I know Luke, you know. So that was quite cool. What? So, what a yeah. So, yeah, but a coincidence. Well, well there. So, you met someone that took the, the live class when we did it? Like, um, I think he was studying with you. Um, or he was he did something with you with Chinese. Maybe you study with you in Chengdu. No way. <laughs> something like that. I was like, couldn't even believe it. But so I'm, I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need to find out exactly who this is now because I'm, I'm obviously know him. So, but that's, yeah. that's a huge coincidence, man. You should have mentioned that before. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Like I've completely forgotten until now, actually. So thanks yeah. for bringing up the question. <laughs> so brilliant, brilliant. So we'll follow up on that in a minute because I'm really curious about that. But um, so. Yeah. Uh, would you recommend it and and why would you recommend it? What would you yeah. recommend about it specifically and to who, what kind of person would you recommend it to? Um, so anyone who's like basically learning, wanting to learn Chinese, I recommend it to. Um, and it's just something because it's so fun to like learn Chinese characters and it's so effective. It's I can't really fault the course in any way. You no, know, no, you, no, you try, no. I was trying to think of some way that the course was bad, like on my bus ride to school this morning and I couldn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, sometimes the formatting's a bit off, but like with the with the whole um, something. Sometimes it's in the center, sometimes it's on the left side. But yeah. other than that, it's just like it's yeah, you know, top ten out of ten. Yeah, that bothers us way more than it bothers anyone else. Trust me. Um, but there's there's two thousand lessons, and we're trying to <laughs> exactly right. You, you can't possibly. So we're paying this. We're paying an assistant of ours to go through. We just feel bad. It's like, by the way, uh, you forgot to do that. <laughs> Got to do the indents. Can you do go back to the beginning and do it all again? <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, definitely. Um, but that's that's awesome to hear, man. And I'm sure you're probably like, oh, actually, you're emailing me later. But oh, actually, I thought of ten things and just <laughs> 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 just make me cry. Um, but uh, that's that's fantastic, man. Um, that's great. To, that's great to hear. Um, so, I mean. We could pretty much finish it up there. That's been brilliant. Um, it's been really good to hear from you. I mean, would you like to say anything else or anything else you want to add or ask me before we finish? Um, well, first I would just like to add, like, it's incredible talking to, like, the person who started or the co-founder of Manor and Blueprint Method. I just, it's an incredible experience just being here, really. Mate, the honors are mine. It's, 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 it's so fun for me to talk through this stuff with you um, and get, like, and because we, we, we have... So many great people that are on on the course at the moment that are, that are just doing really well, but also really friendly to other people. And definitely, yeah, I've noticed it as well. 
the country, the, the community is becoming really cool. I really like it, and it's just great to um, put a face to the name, as it were. So, thanks for that, man. Definitely. I appreciate it. Anything else? To yeah, talk? no worries. Yeah. Sorry, what was that? Anything else you want to say before we we finish? Or um, no, no, I've, I've got nothing here. That's all. It, it, it's been awesome, sir. And thank you for taking the time, especially in today. I know what half an hour means in today's world, especially if you're a student and that. So, mm. I appreciate it very much coming on and. Thank you very much. We'll speak to you soon, hopefully. Yeah, you too. Have a good day. Cheers. Cheers.